we're going to talk about primary trade lines. Now, what is tra primary trade line? Is it aged primary trade line from a backdated time that goes on your credit report and helps your credit score and goes up? Now, that's a great theory. Sounds wonderful. And everyone will be happy that it works. The problem is, I would say nobody on the internet can post an aged primary. The only real aged primaries left are maybe like a rent reporters, rental karma, or um, a backdated rental history where they'll actually call your landlord and verify your payment and it may show up on TransUnion or one other bureau. That's the only aged primary out there that is posting. Now, everybody says, that's not true. Other people have places that post. Uh, okay, well, they have to show you, I mean, in order not to get ripped off, you need to see live login proof before and after, or they do a pay after, which they won't do, because the bureaus have it to where you have to have a site visit, which means they got to have a real location, a thousand minimum upload, and they're going to verify each individual person in the upload and call them and that's where it falls short that's why no one's been able to post primaries in the last three years technically maybe well I don't think it's a maybe and I would just say nobody can I mean sometimes people call me and say oh we got one they're full of crap I wouldn't spend a penny so what is the solution here's the solution because I go over this every day like 20 times and only few people catch it the solution is if you have four AUs, 10,000 or more, minimum three years of age, you can apply for a car for like 30,000. So the point is, once you get a car for 30,000, after three months payments plus the four or five AUs, then I can get you funding like 75,000 to 200,000. After six months payments, I can do that plus corporate credit two to two hundred fifty thousand. That's how you build a file. Now, what what you want to do is get the best car possible with cash back, which we can do cash back because we have bank repos, we have an actual dealership that we're partnerships in that can get you basically any car, most any car from 2017 18 19 plus cash back now the beauty of this is that we're getting bank repos and things like that that are cheap cheaper than normal that allow you to get cash back and if you're a broker and you're sending this business you can get like three thousand to maybe five six thousand per client well how is that possible well it is possible because it took forever to get us on the map with the car industry and get the licensing and get the whole dealership and all this stuff set up. But believe me, there's room. And that's what all your dealerships are not even doing or sharing. So we are actually doing that. So you get so now you have the ability to get the car plus cash. So what do we need to do to start to do that? You have to go to like any normal auto lender and say, hey, I want to get approved for a used car and then you get the pre-approval come back with the pre-approval send it in to us with your driver's license social security card basic info and boom we'll get you we'll pick the car say how much cash there is provide it to you uh, you like it you can come down and pick it up or we could have it delivered to you in like a day or two now if you get two cars three months payments on two cars plus you know four or five AUs it allows me to get even more I mean I have one client who's got two approvals at a hundred thousand after his three to six months I'll easily be able to get him in a million bucks of funding so that's how you get around primary trade lines now I broke this down pretty simple and slow because so many people out there are stuck on stupid and they don't want to believe the fact that they're going to get ripped off on primaries and they can't get it through their fat head that primaries don't exist. So 
I'm saving everybody a lot of heartache and pain from getting ripped off. The only people call me and really bitch about it are the scammers because it's pissing them off because their little scam is falling short, which I love doing because I hate when people get ripped off. And all they do is lie and scam and post new ads and anonymous ads and say they have primaries. So if you're the one in a hundred that is working with a scammer or some dumbass fuck like you are that calls me and bitches that primaries are posting, then you show me live login proof before and after click the hang up yeah well three years ago that used to work four years ago maybe yeah that's when it worked but not now it doesn't work and the ebook out there saying well if you buy a large amount of debt you can buy so much and you could post it no that doesn't even work because you have to post so much positive with so much negative and the bureaus are 10 steps ahead of you and they change all the time and that doesn't even work and I've seen millions of people do it it doesn't work doesn't work doesn't work so if you want to create wealth and use your credit for leverage which people are not doing this is how you do it now if you got crappy credit I would pay us for credit repair because I don't see anybody on their net that has any kind of proof whatsoever compared to what we have. Proof isn't even just credit repair proof. I mean, I have proof of child support being removed, mortgages being removed, school loans being removed. That loan, that combination of all three of those, nobody has. Barely anybody even mentions child support. I can remove that. Early warning systems, check systems, all that. But the real kicker is that none of the credit repair companies have proof of funding like we do. If they even have it or if they even talk about it. They don't talk about it because they can't do repair. They just talk about repair, send the money, blah, 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 and they're super cheap because you're going to think, oh, it's super cheap, it's going to work. No, super cheap is the most expensive thing there is because it's super shitty. And they're just capitalizing on the, the fact that people are dumb and they're going to spend money on cheap shit. But if you want value and you want to get real funding, you want to get into real wealth, you would pay us for credit repair. We get it set up, done, and do it the right way, which is a million ways to do it wrong. And then get you into funding and step you up into each level every three months. Nobody's been out there over 10 years with the same phone number, same website, no call screening, and all the stuff that we've been doing and have done for the last decade I even did more stuff than this before that but that's a whole nother story and that is a very success story where I did sell my first company for millions where I literally do make millions and can prove it I mean all these pictures of like 50,000 100,000 with my business card and my Ferrari keys on there that's not fake that's all real you won't even see that across the internet on anybody nobody has that stuff because they're all fake all they got is like some kids that or copy and paste and make a fake website and then they say they can do funding or whatever which really, really translates to getting you a bunch of turndowns and credit cards if you're lucky or you get your identity stolen and you may have a I don't know laptop computers TVs and all this stuff being bought all over the country yeah so maybe maybe I mean some of them do get credit cards and stuff and then have a bunch of idiots that make a thousand inquiries and have no brains about anything about funding I mean that that's what this business is about everybody jumping in it that doesn't have a clue and then when they find out all your clients are pissed off they just change your website make a new ad and disappear and constantly do call screening and start over but we have a system and I've had the same clients for 10 years and I could prove every single one of them and yes we've gotten I mean I could I could show you or name you or um, introduce you to multiple people I've made multi-millionaires the highest one is 1.3 billion I mean that's all on proof on the website and stuff that I have but the point is yeah am I qualified to to take somebody and get them in the millions yeah the question is are you smart enough to do it 
and take the action and listen. Most of you guys are so smart, you're stupid. You want to jump from bad credit to corporate credit because the biggest bullshit out there is like, oh, you can have bad credit and go get a no PG corporation, which is a freaking lie, a scam, because everybody's selling you a bunch of pipe dreams of bullshit. And I know exactly who it is in their little group. No PG crap. They, the first thing out of people's mouth, they, they have bad credit is, well, or my business pay tax is 80. Well, that don't mean shit. You could have a $300 trade line on your piece of crap business that you just opened a week ago and have a pay tax 80, but that doesn't mean anything. Just like your credit. Same thing. You could have $300 capital one and have a 750 score. Well, hate to tell you, it's a matter of composition of what's on your credit and what's on your business credit and structuring it to where you lay it out in a strategic manner and you know what you're doing, where you're going, where not to go and how not to do it and how to do it, what you're going to overcome and what the plan is afterwards and to keep your client getting money and to get them in other things that produce money every single month. And if I really laid out the proof of how much people are making as my brokers and my clients, it, you'd have a heart attack. So the point is, it's done in order, in a process, because we know what works and how it works and how it doesn't work. No PG programs are a lie, unless you want to get like, you know, a couple hundred dollars, or maybe if you're lucky, some people say maybe twenty thousand or fifty thousand after you pay them all this ridiculous amount of money and it never comes through. But but vendor money for like baby stuff, like uh, capital, I mean like Home Depot, Staples, and all the stuff, and you know, five hundred dollar increments at no PG. Who gives a crap? That doesn't even count. And if you're that stupid to call around and keep wanting no PG all damn day long. Or you want to pay these little guys on their net to have these giant websites and say, oh, pay us 5000 bucks and we'll tell you how to do a no PG corp. And it's so important to differentiate your personal from the business. Well, bullshit. You can, put, you can build your business after you built your personal and you maxed out your personal. And then I could throw you in business and set it up where I get more funding than any of those and all those companies and their little bullshit theory combined. They just say... Well, yeah, it's good to separate it, but it's a matter of when you separate it. If you start out in the the theory of like all these guys know what they're talking about, then you already lost because they're selling unicorn crap. Because like no PG over six months building a company and maybe you get a hundred thousand in six months on these guys corporate credit building programs. Six months is a joke to get a hundred thousand. If you give me six months after I got your credit fixed, I'll have you in a million or pretty darn close. I actually, I could almost guarantee anybody with good credit that is able to learn and listen to what I say, I can have him a million bucks easy, a million bucks plus in a year, all day long. And I've done it, and I normally do it before that. The only time I can't get somebody in the millions is when they're freaking stupid or they get credit repair and they see such good results and start running off and try and do it on their own you know it is great that you guys want to do things on your own but if you have an opportunity to do and find out how to make real money and not do anything but you're told to do and make tons of money and tell you're proven wrong then you should just listen and follow and let it happen but a lot of people don't so that's where things go bad but my real clients that I have that listen can speak speak for themselves in the number and the results so that's what's critically important and not believing no PG or that primary still exist or like these stupid things which brings up the topic of CPN. CPNs, okay. Well, yeah, they do work. And the problem is with that is, yes, they do work. You can get, you know, cars on them, credit cards, and get a, pay somebody for a CPN as long as they're good and actually know how to set it up with what's current, as in what is determined 
able to go through the system which they do change quite a bit on CPNs and all the scans to get approved so you do say you find one you put all your money on the uh, trade lines and you have four or five trade lines get a car or two and then you can get more credit cards and stuff but you're not gonna get pro you're not gonna get lines of credit and you're not gonna get loans because a CPN is gonna have the history of your history when it's created and the history of whatever that number was prior to that hopefully it's good and it's no one else's but either way you're not gonna be able to pass or very rarely I would say maybe one to five percent could pass like the security questions when you you go for loans and lines of credit so in order to build real wealth I would pass on the CPN unless you're maxed out on everything and then maybe that'd be a good way to get unmaxed because you you got maxed out on your personal side of credit cards but if you were smart you would do at the right time with good credit instead of getting maxed out on your personal you'd start going into corporate credit and getting funding like that but the CPN thing if you're overlooking the whole credit repair thing and going straight to CPN you're only saving maybe a month's worth of time when you can take a social security card social security number and literally get millions and millions of dollars on it and it's only maybe a maybe a month less especially when you find out your CPN sucks or whatever went wrong with it, it maybe the same amount most of the time it's the same amount of time or faster especially in this industry so you'd want to stick on to the CPN I mean the Social Security number get it repaired and go for funding on that now you might want a temporary fix on the CPN but if you're gonna spend all the money on trade lines because you're gonna to have to have four or five at 10,000 minimum in three years to get any kind of funding so if you're gonna spend that kind of money you're talking like I don't know everybody asked me how much does AU's cost and all these things you're talking I mean good ones maybe 300 four or five hundred piece the older the better the bigger the better so you're going to want to get four or five of them if you know somebody they could put them on your file as an authorized user you say you live at their address and then they'll put it right on there and it'll show up that's the best way because it's free and it doesn't expire but if you're going to do that kind of money you should put it into your social security number especially when you're talking about all the millions of things to get into that make millions and millions of dollars that's why it's so important that you get your credit fixed oh well then the next problem is like well you're gonna go with some loser on the internet that hasn't even been around and they say they fix credit repair for cheap or whatever price they say they do and they're gonna put up their their little proof their proof of um, that one person they fixed in that actually worked a little bit but they don't put proof up of funding because they didn't completely complete probably anybody's credit maybe a few if they're lucky but if you don't know funding you don't even know how to lay out the, the file to get funding so they put on proof but they don't put on funding because they never prove that they can finish credit repair that's the whole trick they do all the dumb things that are wrong I mean I hate to I hate to brag but I mean literally I could like which I've already seen people copying off this statement <laughs> since they call all day long fishing for information um, literally I've had it where the bureaus are calling the clients house three times a day asking them who's helping them and how much to settle out of court to keep quiet and to have everything removed and I got all the proof of that and then I see somebody on the internet's copying that and put a little fake pay stub with their bullshit name on it I mean dude come on you fucking idiots so yeah credit repair and CPNs credit repair with the people that don't know what they're doing will get you a little better results but it's not gonna get you funding that's why they're not doing funding because they can't even finish credit repair so I don't know the thing is to make money and get money and to have a lot of money is you're gonna have to have the key P 
people that are smart and have money and make money or you're dealing with a bunch of poor morons that are guessing and you're a little guinea pig beta test going nowhere and they don't proof they don't have proof of funding because they can't fund so you're just the guinea pig in the wheel being a little robot for them and you're going nowhere so you're going to be set back another year and you're going to try two or three of them get set back you know maybe two years and you want to save yourself time and trouble you just go straight to us and let us get it done and get you past the credit pair past the funding and into the real big stuff the real money makers and that's why i'm only here is because i can get you through all that stuff into the real things that make money this stuff is all jump change if i don't have a client at a million i'm losing money and wasting time and the only reason i do this is because there's a few people out of a hundred that are smart enough to do that that's all i need is a few people the rest i don't care about i mean and if you want to buy a house and you need credit repair i mean and you don't want funding or you just want credit repair and no funding at all i mean you're not my client i don't need you you go to those other guys that you get ripped off and like maybe you'll get a few things i mean you'll get some things off and I mean, you'll get a house, but I mean, a house only requires like a 630 FICO score to get into. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe you'd be okay with that. But, but if you want real money, you want real wealth creation, then come to us. We get you through this, the funding. So the point is, once I get you a half a million to a million bucks, which is simple, then I get you in all these other things. And now I'm not going to go over all that stuff because I don't want all these other wannabes pretending and taking my terminology and taking my business model which they've already tried but they can't even do any of it and they just put mad amounts of crap and resources of bullshit 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 all over and just the average small-minded consumer goes running to them and then throws their money at them and they got nothing I mean, their history of success is zero and negative zero with a lot of them because of uh, other things that I won't go into, but I'm just telling you that. So, bottom line is you want solutions for primaries and authorized users. The way around the primary trade line dilemma is buying a vehicle now if you're smart you'll come to us and we'll get a better vehicle lower mileage and cash back now the cash back you do want to report the irs and you want to do everything legal because we do want to stay above board and not get in any trouble but i'm just saying you would do that i would say two autos four or five primaries i mean four or five authorized users after three months payments boom i got you it 50 to 150,000 maybe more if you already have a good existing file and you just go need a car build on that three months then the average normal funding round will be like between 100 to 400,000 personal and then corporate credit two to 500,000 per every three months as long as you stay on your payments your cash flow and things like that first round or two i'm gonna let you put all that money in your business build it up help you get that built and going or get into a real business that works and succeeds and gives you cash flow that you are 100 percent in control of after that then i can guide you in different places to get you ownership and other things that bring residual income several different things solid returns no bullshit no crap so that's how you do it now uh, if you want to go get pre-approved for an automobile go to any place say you want pre-approved for an auto a used one but you don't know what car yet bring us back to pre-approval send us in your driver's license with that and your social security card and your basic information like where you work phone number of work and all that kind of stuff um, so we can get you the, then the choices of what kind of cars, how much cash back, and if you want to come see it or the pictures or have it just delivered. So give us a call and uh, 
we'll go from there. Thanks.